welcome back. I've always liked the idea of sounds hard but is easy. And that's the wonderful thing about the double strung is you can do some things that are very easy but they can sound just utterly gorgeous. So in the next couple of tutorials I'm going to show you 20 different types of thirds. An interval of a third. You're used to playing them on the single strung harp like a C and an E, a, a B and a D, and so forth. Just an interval of three notes. So anyway, I'm going to use Pachelbel's Canon as a basis for teaching you thirds. A couple of things that will happen. A, it's fun, it's beautiful, and when you're through you'll have endless ways to do the Pachelbel's Canon uh, chord progression, which will make beautiful background music anywhere, or soothing music. So the chord progression is C, and then you go down four, a G, come up one, go down four, come up one, go down four, come up four, and then up one. So that's C, G. The first type of third that we're going to use is a blocked third. So for instance, a C blocked third is just you play them at the same time, C and E. And this is going to be easy for you because your left hand is doing the chord progression, but you don't have to watch your right hand because it's just like this. Six, and then you come up seven, eight. So you're just going straight down six and then you come up seven and eight. That's it. The easiest one is blocked thirds on the beat. So for instance, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You're going to come in on the one each time with your blocked third. So you're going to start with in this demo with your left hand on the C158 here your right hand on the C third here. So these notes are the same. Okay, it goes like. To learn each one of these patterns of thirds, I'm going to have you first not practice with the whole chord progression of the Pachelbel's Canon, but instead just with the C drone. So for this blocked thirds on the beat, you would just go The next one is blocked thirds on beat number three, like this. Blocked thirds on beat number three. First do it with the drone.
Now it's really beautiful if you mix those two. Like one, two, three, four. This way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. The block thirds on the beat and the block thirds on beat number three. But again, just doing it with the drone. Next technique, a string of rocking thirds on the beat. It'll sound like this. The next one sounds like this. It's called String of Rocking Thirds on beat number three. So it's a little bit like rubbing your tummy and patting your head at the same time to do this, but it's basically that this first part of the rock comes in on the third beat of the left hand, chord uh, 158. rocking thirds starting on beat number three. Do it first with the drone. When you're ready, it's interesting to start with string of rocking thirds on the beat, but immediately change to string of rocking thirds on beat number three, like this.